again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 18th of January, 2019. You know, if you watch me for any period of time, you've heard me say more than once that President Trump doesn't know how to pick people. And uh, his uh, personal attorney is a perfect example of that, and I've mentioned that on more than one occasion. Article written on uh, Vanity Fair, and you might uh, want to take some time to go through it written by Abigail Tracy, posted on the 17th of January, 2019. Title, quote, he had no choice, end of quote. Giuliani's meltdown foreshadows another Russia bombshell. The president's lawyer offers a stunning new legal defense and suggests that collusion is more than fake news, quote, if it's a witch hunt Mueller found a coven, says former Justice Department official following the case, so he's pivoting to a different fallback argument. The absolute worst thing that President Trump could do is allow Rudy Giuliani to continue going on talk shows. That's sort of what I think. Watching Rudy Giuliani's latest televised confessional on Wednesday, one Washington defense attorney called to express his astonishment at the spectacle of Donald Trump's personal attorney, intimidating that perhaps the Trump campaign had colluded with Russia. After all, I think it is long past due that we disregard anything he says about the law because I think he is confused the attorney said of Giuliani, quote, if he ever knew anything about it, he doesn't remember, end of quote. You want to read the article. It's uh, rather interesting. You know, you've heard me say this as well more than once. President Trump wouldn't be in the mess that he's in if he tuned into his own report.com, but he hasn't, and he probably never will, which is sad. I've done everything that I possibly can to enlighten him, to show him where he's gone astray. I posted videos earlier on and I said the best thing that he could do is confess and tell the American people that whatever happened between those two women, Stormy Daniels and McDougal, are between him and his wife, but he didn't do that. And that's probably going to end up taking down his presidency. Thanks to Michael Cohn, who once said, I take a bullet for him. <laughs> well, obviously, he wasn't telling the truth then either. You can't trust anything Michael Cohn says. He's scrambling to try to minimize his prison sentence question again I have is why isn't he in prison? He was tried, convicted, and sentenced. But it is what it is. You want to read this article, you want to pass along to like-minded friends, you want to repost it in all your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. Who knows? He might get clued in. Thanks for listening.